Today I'm going to try and take some steps to prevent the frame and the road beds on my N-gauge model railway from deteriorating over time. How hard is that going to be? One thing I'm anxious about is this MDF taking up moisture and sagging. And I might sort of get a few years into this build and find that all of my traps, tracks gone, all oh, the whole layout's gone droopy and needs to be thrown away, which would be very sad. So I thought I'd prime the MDF to something to seal it. Um, and I've got some uh, product called MDF Primer, which sounds pretty good. I think I'm a bit worried it's not really designed for sealing. It's more designed for just preparing the surface to have some glossy paint put on the top. And it's also white, which is no good. But it won't really hurt here because this is the uh, this is the fiddle yard. This won't be seen. So I'm going to paint, paint both sides, top and bottom. But what I don't want is to lose those crucial marks that show me particularly where the points start um, so i'll try and uh, i'll try and preserve that so on with the painting i think while i'm doing it i'm also going to paint a few other bits of mdf um, just so they're nice and primed and ready to go before i start laying more track on them and at some point somehow i need to prime all this mdf that i've laid uh, built here so that'll be a bit boring, had to protect the track. So next day, and uh, I'll pop some paint on here, or some uh, primer. Um, and then I started to realise some of my mistakes. So the first was that, uh, you'll see I've sanded this off now. Uh, I'll give it a bit of a sand. I need an unfinished edge, because I need to use some wood glue uh, to join this onto the next piece. There'll be a bit of wood glue, uh, there'll be a bit, another piece of MDF, just a little joiner strip on the bottom. So that's the first mistake. Uh, and the second is, well, it's white. And and I hate this, it makes the whole thing look like uh, I'm trying to make a piece of furniture or something, and it's not, it's a model railway. So <sighs> I've gone out to the shop uh, and I've got a different sealer. Um, that's called primer. This is called sealer. Um, I think I prefer the word sealer, to be honest. Um, I don't know if it'd be any better, but this one's clear. Um, and I think this is a good choice because on the other side of here, uh, I need to obviously seal this too. But I do need to keep some of my markings just here so I know where to put my point work. Um, so I think actually this is probably the better way to go. If I painted the whole of this thing white and then didn't know where to put the track, um, I would feel a bit silly. So I'll get on and paint this up, or seal this up. Here we go, I'm all done. Um, I've put my product on, and I'm much happier, much happier. Um, I think this is very much more what I need. Um, it's completely clear. I can see all... All the marks are drawn, so that's good, and it's uh, it's a much thinner, thinner product as well. Um, and hopefully, it does what it says in the tin. It will dry quickly and seal MDF. Um, but uh, yeah, I can see myself using this uh, on all the rest of the the MDF uh, that I'll use on this layout. So I'm. Um, much happier, much happier. So it's a while later. I just wanted to say a few things about why um, it's important to uh, treat all this uh, MDF. Um, the concern is because uh, because MDF is a is a manufactured product. Um, it's a whole bunch of sawdust basically uh, pressed together with some some glue or something. Um, and when it gets wet, it sags. It loses its uh, it loses its structure. Um, and the concern is that over time, it absorbs moisture from the environment that's in. 
and it starts to droop. So, for example, here, you know, it would, uh, although it's supported here and here, it would start to droop like that. And then uh, my whole ramp sort of becomes a series of droopy bits and the, the trains don't run very well. Um, now, the whole reason I've gone for this, this open frame is it, uh, it addresses the, the droopy the droopy problem um, because because the plywood is is on its side um, it's got uh, it's got more strength in in that direction um, so I could, I'd expect these bits of plywood not to not to start drooping whereas if the plywood was flat just a flat board that would droop and in fact the plywood's very very bad at holding its uh, its shape uh, Plywood's a manufactured product as well, obviously, um, but uh, but it does it does warp um, quite a bit. You can sort of see that this piece here is is buckled out of uh, out of shape, um, so that's that's a bit awkward, and that's that's just sort of what what happens naturally with plywood. Whereas at the MDF, that doesn't happen so much uh, immediately, but it does respond very badly to damp, which is why I need to seal it. Because it's only 8mm MDF that I've used, and the, the plywood's only 9mm ply, the reason I've gone for those is so that um, to make the whole thing very light, um, because I, I want to be able to pick it all up in one go. And I sort of can pick it all up in one go. I can just lift the whole thing up. Now, obviously, as I as I carry on building, it's going to get heavier. Um, but uh, certainly, it should still be okay to to be lifted up by two people, one at each end. Um, so I I think I'll be all right with that. Um, but it it means I need to keep it as light as possible, um, which is why I've used six mil MDF. Uh, if it was if it was a permanent layout, I'd just use 12 mil ply, uh, and that would be fine. But it'd be a lot heavier. Um, so, what I want to do um, is also to add some some more bracing uh, to these pieces of MDF and and gluing them underneath along here just to prevent uh, to prevent the, the droop. Um, it's a bit awkward because I've already done the wiring and I've got droppers coming in and and all sorts. Um, but uh, obviously I want to get this right for the rest of the build. So I think I'm going to get on uh, and give that a go. I'll uh, chop up some pieces of MDF, um, glue them underneath the sub road bed to give it more strength. Uh, paint it all with uh, that MDF sealer that I've got and then I'll be able to move on.
course once I've glued the support pieces in place I need to take some time for the glue to go off. Luckily this gives me a chance to drive some trains around the layout. Unfortunately you don't get to have a go driving trains while we wait but you could take a moment to go and subscribe to the channel. It's helpful for YouTube and more importantly it encourages me to make more videos. Now that the glue's gone off, it's time to get some sealer on the MDF. I think only time's going to tell whether I've been successful in protecting the MDF on my model railway from uh, sagging over time. But I'm pretty pleased with uh, the progress I've made uh, and I'm hopeful that it'll be a lot better uh, than it otherwise would have, especially with the bracing and protecting it from moisture. The one thing I've learned is it is an awful lot easier to seal the MDF before you uh, cut it into lots of little bits and glue it together. Um, I can see in the future I'm just going to seal my entire sheet of MDF before I start cutting it. Perhaps you know of a better product for sealing MDF. Do let me know in the comments if uh, you've got a better idea than I've managed to come up with. I'm also really grateful to those of you who've been supporting me over the last few months as I've been producing these videos, especially those who've subscribed or taken the time to write comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do go and click on the subscribe button. I normally publish videos on a Friday afternoon, so I'll look forward to seeing you next week.